all men all men youtube family so check this right your Gotti name has been implicated by the streets this this probably is news not brand new to memphis law enforcement we ain't 12 over here they know what's going on with the back and forth beef with Dolph and cmg so this ain't no breaking news but this right here is what the streets is breaking news is that yo Gotti is probably trying to close loose ties with this whole ceo tz situation now now we know what's been going on back and forth because a lot of it been publicized by rest in peace to Dolph himself uh, through the 100 shots by black youngster himself by associates of yo Gotti, and even to certain extent yo Gotti himself but they didn't say anything that implicate themselves to a to a certain degree but they're saying this the streets is saying i don't think it's Dolph crew pre or the streets or his steppers the ones that killed ceo tz Many of them are saying that Yo Gotti or Youngster Crew are tying up loose ends. We don't know if that's true at, at all. These are alleged. And, and, and let's just remember this video and my channel is a form of entertainment and news. None of this really is as admissible evidence that could be used in court. So we're just talking about this because it's going out all these YouTube streets. Now, with Yo Gotti, we know he's a man of influence. Um kind of like the noosey badass and little boosie situation he got into this rap thing almost accidentally we know noosey badass when he got in the music business he spoke on how boosie uh, um and him was kind of cool to a certain extent boosie bought some lean allegedly and it wasn't that deep and boosie asked him why are you claiming you killed my boy he said it wasn't true with yo Gotti, it was situations with three six mafia as well and it made his name even more known than it already was in the streets so now he's becoming more influential in the rap business so being influential in the rap business you got ties you're with networking and all that so it's easy to navigate and clean your hands while getting certain other folks to get it dirty now ceo tz we know he unfortunately lost his life and let's get to that news story before i continue bringing up this situation yeah, we start with that breaking news tonight we've told been told by memphis police that a high profile gang member was killed in a shooting in orange mound this afternoon this is according to family members who tell us joshua taylor was named a person of interest in the young Dolph murder case back in february of 2022 Officers say the shooting happened at Spotswood Avenue near Bunton Street. Police received a call about a body found around 1 p.m. this afternoon. A short time later, Police Chief C.J. Davis made the scene. Neighbors telling us they think the victim was actually shot last night. Police are telling us the investigation is still ongoing. We'll keep you posted. And we start with that breaking news tonight. We've told... Now, we know the streets is always going to speak up on any situations tying close to real street dudes who they know. And with this situation, CEO TZ is a well-known name. You feel me? And used to be athletic as well, the six foot six artist that he is. And also Young Dolph well-known. So when this happened, people are like, it's easy to look at it as P.R.E., or friends of young Dolph, but many people want you to look at it close by and it's the opposition. The reason why people speculated the way they have, many people believe CEO TZ girlfriend allegedly knows who did it and what happened because she said this response right here. Let's get in to CEO TZ's girlfriend. I don't know her name and I'm not gonna release that because she made herself a target with this. Now, she disrespected Young Dolph and the entire PRE label after his death. She said in a statement, F Young Dolph and the whole PRE. And then she went deeper and said some folks, and, and I didn't want to put that information out. She said, Baba Musa and Dolph should have never stopped and got cookies. He'll still be alive too. Now they meet again. I mean, you can jump to conclusions here and say we know what it is but with that right there it puts her in the string of information that could get her in trouble now with yo Gotti, he has the bag to get the lawyers to protect him just like you see ynw melly bag is working very well in his murder double murder trial and his death penalty trial it looks like he's coming home y'all i'm not gonna even cap i'm not saying he's innocent i'm not saying melly is guilty but i'm saying in a court of law where you have to prove evidence to get someone to be guilt 
I don't see it at all. Now, with this case here, you would need more substantial evidence to get Yo Gotti locked up. You would need one of the hitters to actually implicate him and say, I was paid by CMG CEO. If that doesn't happen, you can't just get YouTube beef videos and put them together. We know courts does that, but the court system flip flops based on who the judicial system work weird like that. Now, we're going to go deeper into this. We know black youngster used to be very vocal about this and being so vocal a lot of people that's part of associates of black youngster and associates of yo Gotti already got in trouble for two times where young Dolph got shot in california uh, not even allegedly by it was saying by yo Gotti's boys because i think one of them caught 10 years another one got like 12 and that was good attorneys too because to shoot somebody broad daylight in cali and still get you know that i mean it's a lot of years but it's like damn that's a good attorney you would think that would be life but um and then the situation in charlotte the 100 shots the infamous 100 shots that itself implicated a lot of people as well and you know the van was shown rented the black youngster these are enough information to get a rico charge for feds to come in the problem is the feds need substantial evidence and work they're not gonna go by no youtube videos or whatever you got dudes in court already snitching like straight drop brother already snitched on it like what are we gonna do about that straight drop brother already gave him information to what he needed so this thing can flip flop and be a controversy all types of ways and people are just lingering on it and waiting for more i don't need to wait if i'm one of these street niggas involved i see dudes flip flopping like that i'm gonna you know close loose ends and that's why i think that's going on right now i think somebody's tying loose ends and keeping that trail quiet you know what i mean rest in peace to that young man ceo tz but you gotta look at the ones close to you now pretend you a street dude and you got all these things you just gained out of this notoriety or whatever and you know if you're not worrying about dudes thinking you did it because you know the streets ain't gonna snitch hopefully they don't at least to the street rules but you know folks in them you ain't you ain't worrying about them they know who who did what x y and z you weren't about the law and worrying about the law mean you looking at the people around you and the people around you get you acting kind of shysty out here acting shysty get very dicey so when it gets dicey for certain people people behave in maneuvers where they backdoor you they turn into snakes foes turn into enemies and friends to frenemies you know what i mean whatever the saying goes and when you're looking at this situation ceo wasn't just out here i think this is also we're going to make a different video how Memphis uh, law enforcement let CEO BZ out here just regular degular. You got to pay attention to the things they're doing. And is it per, uh, conducive or whatever and productive to their case? I don't know, man. I, I broke down a video already how Memphis police has been corrupted, not just corrupted because all cops are damn near corrupted. But Memphis police has been indicted left and right, not just on killing regular folks, but actually dealing with selling drugs criminal situations helping witnesses and murder cases and all that so memphis on that gang is you feel me man memphis police that is they they gang 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 to the four fifth blue power you know what i mean i ain't talking about the blue ranger now look i'm dj bless when i keep you updated i'm back in motion we on track over here i just need you to hit that like button hit that notification bell and never miss an episode of i smoke hip-hop live love your family love your kids always truly indeed stay blessed gang peace